Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mother Amata Veritas, and it is my great joy to welcome you to our 25th anniversary celebration. This celebration was initiated out of an overflowing gratitude to God. It is an occasion first to give thanks to God for all that he has done over the last 25 years in our community. Our four foundresses, Mother Assumpta, Sister Mary Samuel, Sister Joseph Andrew, and Sister John Dominic stepped out in faith following an inspiration of the Holy Spirit to begin again. Each of us who have followed over these years have seen miracles that our Lord has wrought in our community. The second reason why we wanted to host this celebration was to bring together all of the people God has placed in our lives, all of you. Family, friends, benefactors, students, colleagues, alumni of our schools, all of you are also a part of our gratitude for these 25 years. In every place where we teach, where we give talks, lead summer camps and missions, we find Jesus being loved and the truths of the gospel being lived. And we see and experience the radiance of truth and we know that God is active in his church. Across this country, people go to adoration, they say the rosary, they learn the truths of the faith and live as disciples of the Lord. And it gives us great joy to be a part of God's providential plan. And we hope that by coming together today, you can share that more deeply and you can share this joy. Truth Lived has its own radiance. And for 25 years ago, our four foundresses responded to us with a spark of inspiration that has been fanned into a flame. And we want to thank you particularly for being a part of this radiance as the light of the truth of the gospel is spread throughout the world. So thank you for coming and celebrating with us today. I hope you found something in the myriad of things that were going on that you enjoyed, and I was sorry to hear that the petting zoo has already pulled away. <laughs> on behalf of Mother Assumpta and the foundresses and the sisters, I would like to offer some special words of thanks. First, I would like to thank the bishop of our diocese, the Diocese of Lansing, Bishop Earl Boyer. Bishop Boyer has done double duty for us this week. He celebrated the final vows mass on Tuesday, and yet he came back today to celebrate with us. And we are so grateful for his leadership here in the Diocese of Lansing. Although he is not with us today, I would also like to thank Bishop Emeritus, the Bishop Emeritus of Lansing, Carl Mangling. Bishop Mangling welcomed our four foundresses to the Diocese of Lansing in 1997, and he has been very supportive of us through the years. I would like to also thank the other bishops that are with us today. Bishop Wall, Bishop Daly, Bishop Burns, Bishop Archbishop Burns, Bishop McClory, Bishop Mark Brennan, and Bishop Tilka. I would also to like to thank all the clergy who have joined us, and as well as those who are in consecrated life, who have traveled here to be with us today. Thank you for your gift to the church and for your total self-gift. To put on an event like this, there's so many people to thank, and I would like to thank those who, from the Diocese of Lansing who have helped us to set up, particularly for the liturgies, and celebrate the liturgy today. I would like to thank our MCs, Father Bob Irish, who also did, I think, triple duty this week um, with the two professions, Deacon Tom Fogel, Deacon Bob Bauer, Deacon Sean Costello, Quentin Abbott, and Jeremy Priest. Thank you so much for your help. We have many special guests here today. As you mingled, you may have noticed that your name tags were labeled, and many of them said family of a sister. I would like to ask all of the family members of the sisters who are here today to please stand up.
Thank you for celebrating with us today. Whether you've been a part of the Sisters of Mary family for 25 years, or you've just come to us in this last year, all of the sisters are so happy that you are with us. Thank you for your continued gift to the church through your daughter, your sister, your aunt, or your niece, and for your continued love and support. I would like to also ask all the students at the schools where the sisters teach or alumni of those schools to please stand. There should be a couple sisters standing. You are all our special guests today, and we hope you've enjoyed the day and had fun. We look forward to seeing many of you in school in just a couple weeks, or in some cases, in just a couple days. <laughs> Summer is coming to an end. I would like to thank all the colleagues of the sisters who are here today. The pastors, the principals, teachers, and other colleagues at the schools where our sisters serve. Not only do you have sisters in your classrooms or on your campus, but you always have the prayers of the whole community, which you can see in front of you. Thank you for your support of Catholic education. A word of special gratitude, I would like to thank Ann Bischoff, Bob Maccarelli, and all of our Mission Advancement Office for our community. Thank you for your constant support, and thank you, a special thank you to Gail and Hannah for all the work they did in designing the programs, the banners, and the signs today. I would like to thank our honorary sponsors and for all our benefactors who have supported us over the past 25 years. The flame of our apostolate of teaching truth is fueled and spreads because of your generosity. And we would not be here today if it was not for you and for you keeping our lights on. I would like to reiterate that our benefactors are always in our daily prayers. Thank you to our speakers for sharing their talent and wisdom with us today. And finally, I would like to thank Out of the Bo Outside the Box Ministries for their organization and for helping us to put on such an amazing event. And thank you to all those volunteers in the, pink, in the yellow t-shirts who have helped us today and yesterday put on the event. And finally, I would like to thank the sisters on the 25th Anniversary Celebration Committee. Could you please stand up, sisters? Sister Maria Elizabeth Ann, Sister Maria Fatima, and Sister Judy Andrew. A year ago, this was just an idea, and these three sisters have worked this year to make it a reality. Finally, again, I just said my third finally. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mother Assumpta Long. Mother Assumpta is one of our foundresses, and she has been our prioress general for the past 24 years. Please welcome Mother Assumpta. Oh. <laughs> what a sight. Thank you. <clears throat> 25 years, what an adventure. Uh, the, uh, I want to tell you the miracle, though, that has happened. The foundresses are not one day older than they were 25 years ago. So, anyway. Um, I do want to, this is going to be very brief. I, when in 1996, when God chose Sister Mary Samuel, Sister John Dominic, Sister Joseph Andrew, and me to begin this adventure, he could not have chosen four people more different in personalities and temperaments and talents. And God is so smart. I, I really, he's very smart because he knew that that was exactly what we needed to bring this community to fruition. It took all of those talents, and God is, is so good, and he can, it continues. 
I'm going to just um, mention the ones in the very beginning of the community whom I, we, who I need to acknowledge. That is Cardinal John O'Connor, the Sister Servants of Birmingham, Alabama, the Flanagans of Purchase, New York, Father John Coughlin, who was the canonist for the Cardinal, and uh, it, it, it just goes on. But then, I want you to know that the reason that we're in Michigan is Tom Monahan. Tom Monahan. We simply could not have done this without Tom. I mean, he had this vision for Catholic education, his love for religious life. Tom, we will never be able to thank you enough, I'm sure. <clears throat> so, we have passed the baton to wonderful, wonderful religious who show great leadership, Mother Amata Veritas, Sister Mary Michael, Sister John Dominic, Sister Louis Marie, and Sister Elizabeth Ann. And you know, I can't wait to see, I can't even imagine what God's got in mind. I'm kind of scared, but anyway, I'm scared. But anyway, it's gonna be, it's gonna be wonderful. But I can assure you of one thing, when the 50th anniversary is celebrated, I'm going to be looking down, checking on it from the pearly gates. So anyway, <laughs> thank you.